oh God, what is that called? That's sugar fish. Oh, thank you. Hey guys, it's Jasmine. We have a super special guest in today's video. Tracy Ellis Ross. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I'm like pinching myself to realize that it's actually happening. She has a movie coming out tomorrow called The High Note. It's set in LA surrounding the music industry. And you know, of course, I watch it and all I can think about is food. I saw juices there, I saw taco trucks there. And so I'm about to hop on a video call with her and we're gonna find out what her favorite eateries are in LA. After hearing her top picks, we're gonna pick one and taste it. I'm so excited, okay. See you on the flip side. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, so nice to meet you. You too. In the high note, we see some classic LA eats from healthy juices to taco trucks like El Flamin. So today, I wanted to ask about some local eateries you're missing during quarantine. I really miss sushi. I'm a Matsuhisa, um, oh my God, why has it just left me? The beautiful boxes that come from, oh God, what is that called? That's sugar fish. Oh, thank you, yes. You see how long it's been. I clearly have not had sushi. Sugarfish, Matsuhisa, um, those are two of my favorites. I miss John and Vinny's because I haven't had a pizza in a while. I know you love supporting Black-owned businesses and eateries. Are there a few that you'd love to shout out? Yes. My two cents <laughs> LA, love, Alta. Alta, the thing that is so amazing is it's traditional soul food that's been sort of elevated and reinvented. So it's the traditional taste that you know, but it's sort of presented and prepared like a little bit differently and it's beautiful. That food is wonderful and I love the owner and the chef there. Is there a specific dish that really calls out to you? Yeah, the sweet potatoes and the collard greens are unbelievable. When they first came, I was like, oh, this looks so fancy. This is not a collard green but they take a large leaf and they do the chopped greens inside it. So it's so beautifully presented with the stock. It's so beautiful and it tastes so good. And then their rice and peas are delicious. Thanks for watching. Go check out My Two Cents LA, Alta, and watch the high note. Awesome. Thank you so much. It was so nice meeting you, Tracy. You too. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. After talking with Tracy, I think we all know which one we have to try. Alta. Alta actually has a set menu during this time. So if you want to order from them, make sure to check their website for the most updated information for pickup and delivery, and also their latest menu items. However, I do want to shout out Chef Keith Corbin from Alta, who made these dishes on the side for us during this time so we could try Tracy's favorite. So here are the collard greens. Here are the rice and beans. I pushed the beans aside so you can see the rice. I swear it looks very nice in person. And here are the candied yams. Something that Tracy and Chef Keith both mentioned was that Alta is set apart not only by the great taste, but also the plating. So eating there, the experience is different because of how pretty everything is plated. The candied yams have a specific plating. The collard greens, Tracy mentioned that they're usually wrapped in a leaf and it's just absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's taste them. We have to start with the candied yams. Cheers! Mmm, wow. The thickness of these candied yams helps retain the moisture, but what I'm even more impressed by is that the glaze completely penetrates through the entire cut of the yam. And these spiced pecans on top are just the perfect touch. It's so good, I lost my table manners. What I love about soul food is that it plays with different flavors constantly, with spice, vinegar, sweet, savory. Let's try the rice and beans. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells very smoky. I'm actually not a big fan of smoky flavors, but this one smells smoky in a good way. Mm, I need a minute. I think I found my new go-to restaurant in LA. This is so good. The beans are nice and savory. There's a great amount of salt, but not to the point where I find it too salty. The rice, the texture is nice and fluffy, and also the flavors meshing together. You can taste that it's very brothy. So it's full of flavor, not just the beans flavor. And now this is making me crave the collard greens. So let's try that. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I must preface 
this by saying yes, I do love soul food, so I am a sucker for all this, but I'm picky with my collard greens. Sometimes I feel like I'll go to a restaurant with collard greens and it's just masked with salt. And then they'll throw in bacon, which makes it even saltier. But this one, oh my goodness, you can taste the pure flavor of the collard greens and there's a great kick to it. You can literally see the chilies in here. There's also a smokiness in the oils that are fusing together with the vinegar used in this dish. This is the perfect combination of spice, tang, and greens. I love a dish where the flavor of the vegetable shines through. This is where it is. I literally have no bad things to say about any of these. And I'm not surprised at all that Tracy Ellis Ross has great taste in food. I'm happy. I love you, Tracy. Okay guys, that was really fun. I'm gonna continue enjoying this off camera and finish this clean. If this is making your mouth water as much as it did mine, make sure to check out their website for their most updated information on how to order, which is linked below in the description, along with the links to the other restaurants mentioned in the video. Make sure to check out the high note featuring Tracy Ellis Ross. It's out tomorrow. I personally really love it, and I hope you guys do too. Until then, stay safe. Love you guys. Bye.